So something I've been thinking about a lot lately is the number of miles that I drive and the number of times that I've been this close to being in an accident. And am I prepared for an accident? Am I prepared if someone gets in my car and gets injured? Um, and so I actually went out and I bought an inexpensive first aid kit. Now, this isn't going to save anyone's life, but it could, you know, make the difference between uh, whether or not someone bleeds all over my car. <laughs> so uh, what about you? Have you thought about this? Do you carry a first aid kit in your vehicle? Do you think about that? Do you have road flares? Do you have a safety triangle? All these kinds of things. Now, I don't have flares and I don't have a triangle. Um, I've been thinking about getting a flare, actually. In some countries, they're actually required by law. But I really thought it was time to start carrying uh, a first aid kit because there have been times when I've either been in the car and needed a bandage for myself or I've thought about what happens if I get in an accident and I need to provide some first aid to my passenger because they're unconscious or whatever. Now, this doesn't have a splint or anything like that, but it's got some dressing and stuff like that where I could stop um, bleeding or slow down bleeding. Again, like I said, probably not going to save anyone's life with this, but you never know. that Those few minutes that you're waiting for a, an ambulance to show up, this first aid kit could make a difference. So do you have a first aid kit? And is it something that you have thought about or something that you would even use in the case of an emergency? I'm John from Ride Up State, reminding you that just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. And it's a good idea to carry a first aid kit in your car. Bye.